Hello YouTube friends, welcome to my channel. This is Rai Rai with my husband trouble buddy Alan. We're still here in Frog Castle as we continue to explore its building. Join us by watching as we enter Old Royal Palace and St. George Basilica. But before we do that, please don't forget to subscribe. In our previous video, we visited the St. Vitus Cathedral which is part of the complex buildings here in Frag Castle. And now, we're entering the Starek Karlovsky Palace, or the Old Royal Palace. We need to scan our ticket for us to be able to go inside. The Old Royal Palace is part of the Prague Castle in Czech Republic. Its history dates back to the 12th century and it is designed in the Gothic and Renaissance styles. This is Vladislav Hall, which is used for inaugurations, being the most important representative hall in the country. It is also home to a copy of the Czech crown. As you can see, the Vladislav Hall is a large hall within the Prague Castle, used for large public events of the Bohemian monarchy and the modern Czech state. It was even large enough to accommodate tournaments between knights. Built between the years 1493 to 1502 by Benedict during the reign of Vladislav II, the hall was the largest secular space in the medieval Prague and is among the most complex structural and architectural spaces in the late Middle Ages. A former seat of the Czech rulers, the old royal palace is a mix of many architectural styles, particularly Gothic and Renaissance. The palace houses the story of Prague exhibition, which uses castle models, films, and artifacts to tell the history of Prague Castle. The Royal Palace was originally the Prince Palace, becoming the Royal Palace in the 13th century. It then was the residence of the sovereigns and retained this role until the Habsburg moved the residence to the western part of the castle at the end of the 16th century. From then on, the old palace was used mainly as offices and for storage. Copies of the crown jewels can be seen here in the old royal palace, but the originals were kept safely in the Prague castle. As mentioned earlier, the splendid old royal palace on the third courtyard used to be the seat of the Bohemian prince. It was founded in the 9th century and since then has been changed significantly by great emperors.
no camera. The video is okay. It's, it's okay. <laughs> The coats of arms on the walls and vault commemorate the individuals who held important land offices from the 16th to the 18th century. In the 16th and 17th century, a typical arrangement of the coat of arms of Highlands officials took the shape of a pyramid. It's a caving of a cabinet making technique of great tradition. Flat, they're flat. Yeah, yeah. They uh, during the period of the late Arctic. Uh, because usually the carving has, yeah. but this is flat. A lot of artifacts can be seen here, and each has its own story. This is the best way for visitors like us to learn about the history of the Prague Castle. Visiting this place is highly recommended for tourists. If there is one thing you should be careful about, these are the staircases. I've noticed that these are narrow and stiff. Therefore, it's so difficult to accommodate lots of people at the same time. We're then exploring this old royal palace. And we're about to proceed to our next destination. This tour in the Prague Castle is a series of small tours in each building complex. You should devote time in coming here, in order to explore all of its parts. From the old royal palace, we're going to St. George Basilica, which is the oldest surviving church building within the Prague Castle. The Basilica was founded by Bratislav I of Bohemia in year 1920. It is dedicated to St. George. Primarily Romanesque in style, it is part of the collection of the buildings that comprise the castle. The political capital of the nation, and the spiritual center of the Czech state. The basilica was prominent at the beginning of the spread of Christianity in Bohemia. Its collegiate church was at the center of the territory, 
until the foundation of the Archdiocese of Prague in year 973. In year 976, the first building of the Benedictine St. George Abbey was erected on the north side of the basilica, and the basilica served as an abbey church. The original three-nave building was completed with a choir, a tribune for the nuns of the convent, and a crypt. Unlike the Baroque and Rococo churches of Prague, the interior of the basilica is simple and austered limestone block. The church is a three-aisled basilica with two towers located on the eastern end of the church and at the end of the two sides aisle. The basilica is part of the Prague Castle complex of buildings. The castle was the political capital of the nation and the basilica was part of its spiritual center. In year 1962, the building was declared a national cultural monument and converted into a concert hall. Between years 1969 and 1975, it was converted into an exhibition space. The building now houses the 19th century Bohemian Art Collection of National Gallery of Prague. It also serves as a concert hall. As an old surviving church building within Prague Castle, this St. George Basilica is also a burial site of the Premisley dynasty. The beautiful Baroque facades dates from the late 17th century. Inside, you'll feel Romanist, airy, and peaceful interior. The tomb of the members of the Premisley dynasty are situated in the main nave. Unlike St. Vitus Cathedral, St. George Basilica is smaller but has a unique simple façade design and its interiors is very rich in historical artifacts. This will end our video here but not of our exploration of the Prague Castle. Watch out for the continuation video of our adventure as we continue to explore the Golden Lane in the courtyard of the Prague Castle. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to like, share, leave a comment, subscribe and hit on that notification bell for more updates. See you again on my next video. Bye for now!